How's it going everyone? Tom here and welcome back to the channel where I just figure things out as I go. What's up? What's up? You look like a filmmaker. I know, I was in the middle of it too. So I'm sure all you guys have seen all those ads for the perfect LUT pack for your S-Log2 footage. And you see that gray footage that all of a sudden, that magic LUT transition just pops. It's just a one click thing. We're not gonna get into that. So I'm gonna show you in Final Cut Pro how to do that wiping mask transition. So let's jump into Final Cut Pro and I'll show you how to do it. So now we are in Final Cut Pro and as you see, there's Ben looking like the stud he is. So what we're gonna do is that, notice how all the effects are done. So all the, the shadows, highlights, midtones, adding saturation to where I want. Um, and I have the LUT applied, but as you see, the LUT's only 25, 23%. If you crank it on there, it just looks terrible. So we're gonna go back to 25%, and what we're gonna do is going to press Option, drag up. Now it's important for you to know the very top clip of your timeline is gonna be what you see in the viewer. So what we're gonna do is add Draw Mask onto the top layer there, and then we're going to deselect all the effects done. So as you see, there's a raw footage. So what we're gonna do is go into the very top of our clip here. Click the viewer to 25%. So we're gonna put our four points in here. Click invert mask. So as you see, there's the raw masking out to the bottom clip of the timeline. And there's your wipe. Then we're going to go into the transform tab, click all the keyframes. Then we're gonna drag our clip to where we want it to finish. Then drag that all the way across. Now let's see if that worked. Boom. What we can also do is slow that down. So go into your show animation tab. Then we're gonna show, these are our keyframes. So I'm gonna want that to slow down a bit. So I'm gonna go over here, try that again. Probably a bit slower. All right, click back to fit, boom. And there you go. Hope you guys like this tutorial and I plan on doing a couple more of these if they're not too painful. So hit the like button and the subscribe and I will see you in the next video. See ya.